hello again. <laughs> we are Arcana Inc. I am Lore from the Dungeons and Dragons stream, Lakeside Legends does. And with me is Trevor, who plays Francisco. Say hello. Hey, what's up? All right. So, first things first, we have to act like this is all, all new. So, first things first is I'm going to share with you our picture of spit that I finished over the week. Okay, do you see it? That's a good question. Let me check the uh, stream real fast. I had to pull up a thing. Uh, yes, I do. I see it. It is there. Okay, so here's spit. Um, we didn't obviously work all the way through um, on the actual stream. We only wanted it to be like an hour. So I only did the first part and then over the week I finished it. So this is our spit. And now we're going to draw Francisco. Yay, so, that's cool. Yeah, so Trevor, um, yeah, I know you gave a big long backstory but if you could maybe perhaps just do a really short version. Yeah, okay, short, condensed, sweet, simple, yeah. So Francisco uh, is the son of essentially a maid who was kicked out of her house because she had, uh, a, you know, a child out of wedlock, uh, which, you know, she left her home, raised her son in Neverwinter, uh, and uh, she uh, was a maid at a house that the master maybe liked her a little too much. She didn't appreciate the attention, but uh, the wife of the master did not uh, uh, appreciate that. So her and another maid got into it with her. She was poisoned, locked in the house uh, while it was on fire, uh, shoved out of a window, and then ran over by a carriage. So she has a lot of physical so, problems. So she much. Married, yeah, so much in one day. Uh, and so uh, she was, uh, you know, hospitalized, and that's the whole reason why Francisco is on his journey. The whole reason why he's uh, always, like, almost never has money because he almost he sends, sends it all to his mom. Sends it all to his mom, and then spends the rest on alcohol <laughs> to drown yeah. away his sorrows. Right, right. Okay, so. I'm getting a little bit of an idea here for our shape. Okay, so what we're going to do at this point is um, go back to my star. And we're going to look up some pictures that kind of, you know, works for you as Francisco. Right. Um, um, so first thing we need to look up are uh, major telenovela actors, male actors. Okay, how do I spell telenovela? T E L E N O V E L A. Telenovela. The nice thing about Spanish is that everything sounds exactly how it's spelled. I'm so scared to put this in and something mm, risque. awkward pop mm. up. Um, you know, you can look up um, th what's the name of the actor who plays uh, Bo or Po Bo? The guy from Star Wars, the new Star Wars, he's his fan. Oh, oh, the pilot, oh, oh. the good-looking pilot. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> pilot. <laughs> Not it was like wasn't it like Poe or something. I think oh. it was Poe or Bo. This guy. Yeah, that guy. What's he looks? That's kind of what his face looks like. Oh, there's some strange fan art lower below for all those who are into that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Finn Poe. Is yeah. that his actual name? No, his name is Poe. They're just okay. shipping him with Finn. Oh, that's, got that's it, got name. it. That's the ship Yeah, name. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, do you have another, another face that kind of fits? You were showing um, me one on your laptop? Yeah, I think it's... Juan, I don't know his name really, is Juan Pablo something. Can you put the link to him in the chat of Zoom, the Zoom chat? 
Uh, I could probably, I have the picture saved on my computer. I could probably just, um, let me share. Just copy the link and put it in the chat and we'll pop it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me just. What was I looking for? I don't have like a link to it, but I have the image itself. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, if you right click on it. Right click on the right image. Right click on the picture. Yeah. Copy image link or something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Copy the regular copy. Um, I don't see the. Okay, I'm going to show you on on my computer. Okay. Okay. Right click. I'm sorry, I'm not super tech savvy. Copy image address. Uh, okay. That's at the one. Okay, okay, okay. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it still needs to be like, okay. Open, no. Copy image address, okay, okay, okay. And then, aha, found it, got it. Um, should be, uh, just copy it. Let's paste it in. Yep, yep, I'm going. I had to make sure that it was correct. Eh, eh, why won't you paste in there? Paste. Paste, you pasty white boy. Hey, ah, there we go. Okay. Did it after <laughs> weeks of struggle. <laughs> after weeks. Of, okay. Does he look more like Poe or more like this guy? Um, he kind of looks between the two. Oh uh, my goodness, you're gonna do <laughs> that to me. Uh, he probably looks more like Poe, to be honest. A little bit, a little bit more. More, a little more rugged than this other guy. Yeah, a little bit more rugged. Okay. Um, hair. Hair. So he has longer hair on the top and it's shorter on the side. Uh, longer it, hair on the top. Shorter, shorter on, the, on side. the side. Yeah. I think I have a picture of that too, which uh, I will copy uh, image address. And I'll put it here. Bam. Oh, it's I'm in the learning. chat. Yeah, in the chat. Okay, hold on. Find the chat. There it is. <laughs> Men's hairstyles. Hair kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. Also has a beard kind of like that too. All right, all right. Way too complicated my life, but that's fine. I'm sorry. This is just how I. You said to prepare things. <laughs> I know, I know. No, I, I said. did. <laughs> okay, so, so then, what kind of clothes is he wearing? Um. So there's a couple of different styles. I was thinking. Now we're only like you. You saw in the spit image. Yeah. Only it's at your like shoulder. Yeah, like I know. Chest stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So there's a couple uh different things that because he's more you know he's hispanic from a spanish background he has more spanish looking ish armor um so there's one from the witcher i really liked i don't know can okay. we show that here <laughs> we're we're showing star wars yeah okay that's cool um that or um that's kind of like one way I see it, but then if you look up just like uh, pauldrons in Google, you'll get a lot of kind of because he doesn't really have plate armor; he has chainmail, but he has like plated. I imagine him with like plated shoulder pieces. Okay, so what am I searching? Pauldrons. The shoulder armor mm -hmm. piece. Yeah. Okay. Do you see any that kind of uh, match your vision? Uh, the Steel Gladiator up. Oh. So I imagine that you have uh, 
there's like a one single armed armor. The I guess kind, kind of some the gladiator one, the steel okay. gladiator. Yeah. So kind of like an arm piece, oh kind of like that. Maybe not all the way down, but just like the shoulder. Just like the shoulder. Okay, and uh, what side is it on? Um, it would be on his left side because when he no sorry it'd be on his right side because when he uses his shield that's covering his uh, left side so the arm guard would cover his right side which is exposed okay so yes. now what we're going to do I thought gonna... about this <laughs> I can tell I can't draw so I have like images in my head like man if I could draw <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm gonna do a little bit of an angle, I think. I'm thinking an angle here. Hold on, things just decided to slow down. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so. Circle. Uh, that's a little bit of a smaller circle. Wow. Okay, so first things first. He's a head. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably do like a little tilt thing here, I think. I want these to be a little different. What kind of like, how does, how does Francis scold himself? Uh, mm -hmm. very confident in him. He's very confident in himself. Oh, you know, kind of um, like a, like a little up thing, like... Yeah, kind of, uh, not looking down on anybody, but like, kind of like, um... They, like an actor, like any actor would hold themselves with confidence and, uh... Kind of like a, a command of their room, but without being... He, he's very much, he's very much got a... Robert Downey Jr. kind of vibe, you know. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that kind of makes sense. He's just, you know, not as... He's not... Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is not... Uh, he's a different kind of... But in the same way he commands the room, you know. <laughs> commands attention, you know. Well, he command he certainly commands attention. I don't think it would uh, really be not the same, same way, way as Francisco. No, it's kind of different, but it's the same air. It's the same. Oh, I don't okay. know. I think think Tony Stark pre uh, Avengers. You know. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're you're. Francisco is is not like full of himself. No, he's not full of himself. That's which true. Tony is. That's true. That's 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 a fair. That's so, a fair at least that's. I mean, I've been interpreting it where Francisco's not. Yeah, he's not really full of himself. I guess. Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, I'm trying to think what uh, what's a good comparison then. Someone just think Tony Stark without being full of himself. Sure. If he was actually, you know, nice to people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so his eyes. Are they biggish? Are they slanty? Like, if this was an anime, what would his... What would his eyes they be? Would, they would be, like, intense, but not, like, super narrowed. They'd be... Kind of in between, like okay. an almond shape. -ish. Shape. Are they almond slanted shape. up, down, ah. droopy, uh, big and round, squinty? They're they're definitely almond shaped, not super slanted, but like a kind of tilt inward. It's a small one, slight. Tilt inward. Yeah, not not like you okay. know, not like this, but kind of like this. Okay. You know? But yeah, that's too much. Let's put that there. That helps a lot. How, what kind of nose does he have? Is it big and chunky? Is it like 
swoopy. It's kind of similar to mine, just a little less intense. You know how my nose is, you know. I don't know if that helps at all. So something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then his eyes. Well, that's a side eye, so it's not going to show up quite the same. How is his eyebrows? Um, they are. They, they're kind of like lines, and then they kind of go down, kind of like a dent, dent, like a. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> like a triangle, like that. It's like. More like the second one, except it doesn't go quite down all as much. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not an artist, so my words might not be your words. <laughs> Are they thick? Are they thin? Does he pluck? Are they bushy? Um, he definitely uh, changes his face to make them look like they're very manicured, very, you know, nice. Um, they're not super thin. They're kind of like, is it's it like, like, like this or like, like this? It's more like the first one, the one on the, uh, on the right. Okay. They kind of look like my eyebrows. Something like that? Yeah. Something like that. Okay. How's his nose? I feel like that's a little more of a bump than you were probably going for. Yeah, it's a little less. How's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a slight bump. Okay. Um, thin mouth, puckery mouth. How He's got that? juicy lips. Juicy lips. Yeah, juicy kissable lips. Okay, well I don't really draw lips when I do They're this. They're not puckered, they're kind of soft and supple. Not that big. <laughs> it's a little too intense. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me! That is what you said! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I would say uh the it's a comparative to the uh okay it doesn't one really of the matter. pictures one of the pictures which one of these three pictures that i have oh i guess i just switched the, yeah so i can probably more like the actor dude like his pose. yeah pose yeah more like pose okay well it doesn't really matter because i don't Really Dude, draw lips. lips so much. Yeah. It's more of a, you know. Yeah, it's fine. There's something used to be higher. Okay. Okay. And then we have an eye over here. How are the eyes? They look good. Okay. So there is his face. You said he has facial hair? Yes. Like the guy in the hair picture. Yes, the guy like the guy in the hair picture. Yeah. Very, you know, groomed and manicured. Mm -hmm. Nothing like it the goes beard up that into I his had. sideburns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. How does he like his ears? Since he's a changeling, he can do whatever he wants. He keeps them rounded. He has a detached lobe, not attached. He thinks it's weird if people have attached lobes. Um, so like his... that? Yeah. <laughs> <I'm not happy. laughs> Maybe not quite. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's a good. I will play with the ear, but that's better. Yeah. Okay. 
And then, um, how should his expression be actually? Like, is he like, should he have- He's usually pretty carefree, pretty happy. So, so he should um, maybe have like a- Have a smile. <laughs> wow, yeah, not quite that goofy, but it's more like a sexy swoon sw smile. You know, uh -huh. you know that kind of smile. You, you know, all the ladies are like, oh yeah. Do a little. Got a little twinkle in his eye. You know, he's kind of like a hey baby, how you doing? Oh yeah, this is coming together. Oh yeah, with the eyelids, that's so good. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I thought you'd like that. That was a little bit wonky. <clears throat> now, um, his cheekbones, are they all like out here? Are they more subtle like that? They're more subtle. Yeah. They're not super duper pronounced. Uh, pronounced? No. Is that what it is? Is that the word? Yes. Anyway, what is yeah. the shape of his jaw? Um, it's pretty square, pretty manly. Um, there's a slight angle to it. Uh, it's not like completely square, but it's yeah, kind of like that. Um, yeah. That's good. Okay, and then his like quaffing. In the military, he couldn't have his hair like that. So uh, he would actually keep his hair like that, uh, but. Uh, when he had to go report in, he would have it you know, look like it was shorter and then grow it immediately back out when the commanding officer wasn't looking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One of the many reasons he left the military. Because he couldn't have his hair the way he likes it. Well, yeah, there's some other like backstory stuff too, other reasons, but uh, that was like a contributing factor. Mm. So then, um, yeah, it looks there. We go. Um, do you want like a little Elvis thing here? Oh, that's cute. For now, <laughs> we'll leave it there for now. We'll see if the uh, Actually, you know, yeah, you know what? He's fighting all the time. There'd be like a little mess in the front. Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, the jaw actually seems too long to me. See, this is why we actually stopped uh, streaming is because I get a little, like... A little too into the details. Yeah. Okay. And then, so we'll make this his pauldron. Mm -hmm. Do you want the... this thing? Yeah. Yeah. He definitely has that thing. Sorry. Proportions are a little off. I will fix all of that, of course. Um, does he have some kind of like, um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over here. So, um, I wish I had a table to bring my, like, my laptop closer so I could actually read what people are saying. Oh, yeah, I can help have chat up. Yeah, put chat up. Talk to the people. Yeah, I will definitely do that. A smoother. Someone said a smoother. 
Or at least. Um, let's see. Uh, Poe, Demarn, Damron. Yeah, yeah. They know who we're talking about. Yeah, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> uh, yeah, Smolder, a changing, changing look on demand. Uh, thank you so much for. Yes, okay. okay. Yes, they're okay. just talking about uh, last yeah, yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is he, does he got a, like a hairy chest or it like goes up a little since the, he's like... Um, he actually... Or is he like hairless in that part? He he would definitely have some, some chest hair. It wouldn't be like a carpet. And it's... You know, definitely. Would you even would you see it with all of his stuff on? No, with all his stuff on, you wouldn't see it. Okay. Um, does he have like a high collar, or a low collar? How it's it's a lower it's a lower collar that probably comes down a little bit below his. Let's see. There's this. Yeah, it'd probably be about. <sighs> I had to choose this angle. Dang it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It'd be about as open as my collar is here. It wouldn't be like not super open, but enough to open to where he's like, you know, you know, he's a chill dude. I'm using you as a reference now. Yep. Okay. So something like that. Now, is it like a collar collar with the triangle thing? Yes, definitely. Yes, because he thinks that is fancy. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, so something like oh, come on, Francisco. Move on my canvas. There we go. Nope, that was too far, Francisco. My computer is so slow. Okay. Um, now, does he have a wide smile or is it kind of smallish like this? It's kind of like a, a crooked, playful grin, you know? A smaller, not like huge okay. smile. Is he a toothy smile or a smirk? Is he is a toothy friend? smile. He is a toothy smile. So is this, like, okay? is this okay? This is, this is okay, yeah, this is okay. Um, all right then. I'll play with the back of his head later when I have more time to figure out the proportions. Okay, so he has a pauldron here, something like this. Mm -hmm. Um, does he have like big roundish shoulders or are they? He's definitely a broad shoulders uh, guy. Okay. Yeah. So then this pauldron would actually be bigger? Yeah, probably like... out to there. Yeah, because he has big shoulders for uh, to have a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> Large enough to have as many people on it as possible. Preferably women. Preferably women. Oh my gosh. But he's okay if a man cries on his shoulder too because he doesn't judge. Right. Right. Uh, this is how you play. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to look at these references in different angles so I can get a better feel for them. Mm -hmm. But so far as kind of like our base sketch yep. thing. Um, so that arm's not working for me. Okay. Let's try this again. I feel like his neck is kind of long. And this. Okay, that's a little better. I'm gonna have to play with it. Okay. All right. So as a base, are you happy with this? Yes, this looks fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do now is choose colors. Gosh, okay. So 
So, what is uh the what is his skin tone? Um, it's. I see. What is it? Good. See, like olive skin, darker. You're like olive skin. He probably has more of a uh argentine uh skin tone not dark uh, but not super light i don't know okay. if that that helps mm. okay so there's some that are kind of darkish, some that are lightish. There's not a really like helpful. Yeah, I'd probably say more all then. Okay, all toned. Yeah. Okay. Marker here. Oh, so that's really too like light. Really, like, there you go. That's good. Oh, I know why. <laughs> it's that's because... a, that's a little too much. Yeah, yeah. Um, but How's really, that? the inspiration for Francisco came from telenovela actors uh, that have like super tragic stories, right? Uh -huh. So it's kind of like you know the hot guy from the telenovela. From, yeah. So okay. That's kind of, so they're never too dark, but they're, you know, not uh, white necessarily. So attractive, dark hair. That's kind of where this? the idea. Yeah, that is perfect. Okay. That is perfect. And now, what about his hair? His hair is dark because like he is black uh, or brown. Like a uh, black. Black, black, or yeah. almost? Well, let's see almost, and then we'll see black, black. And then what's black, black look like? Oh man, I can't really tell the difference on my screen. Uh, <laughs> I'd say the first one. Okay. Yeah. Um, so like, the whole idea of him, the reason why I wanted him to be a uh, more like the telenovela actors because of his personality, right? Very charming. All the mm -hmm. ladies always fall for him, right? <laughs> okay. And so it reflects my lonely uh, existence. Your loneliness. My loneliness. You don't. Yeah. My cause, loneliness. Yeah. You're don't care me. Something like that. Yeah. 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 And so I wanted a character that, you know, I actually got all the ladies like, yep, this is my dream. Do you want this little hair piece or if you vetoed it? Um, I like it because okay. he's a he's a fighter, right? So he's yeah. always he's gonna have a little bit of messy hair. A little a little crazy. A little 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 messy. Okay, what color actually, is his eyes? The color is what? his eyes. They're a green color. They're green. They're green. How do you is uh, singing with us, Britney cool. Spears. Oh yeah. Okay. Speaking of messy, another inspiration for his design is definitely the soccer player Messi. Uh, I, I don't know if you want to look up a picture of him, but yeah, uh, he was. He's a very famous uh, Argentine soccer player. Ah. Yeah. Okay. What kind of green are we going here? Leaf green, olive green. Supersonic green. Um, man, green. There, there's a person I know whose eye color is actually exactly the so I don't have a picture of them. Um, they, they're kind of like a, they're like a darker green. Uh, not that dark, maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't hear satisfaction. Um, Make it a little bit brighter, not necessarily, yeah, just uh, that direction, maybe. Yeah, try it. 
When you said a little, little bit, while. Uh, yeah, there, there was a little. Uh, it's a, there's like a sparkle, like a twinkle in his eye. Okay, that comes <laughs> with like highlights and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a base that's color. that's probably that's good for the base color. That is exactly the base color. What color is his armor? Um, so the pauldron is like a shiny, like a steel color. Not nothing too fancy on this pauldron. Um. Is it, okay, what tone? Is it more of a brown tone, blue tone? Um, it's more of a gray. Okay. Like a, but like is gray. Blue. blue okay, a blue tone. Yeah. Is it dark or light? It's light. Is that too light? Um, maybe a little bit darker. That looks good. Okay. So, like this? Yep, like that. Now, it's easier to see when it's on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now here's a question for like the game and stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you see us going in the direction that we are now going in? Um, Did you think that that was nah. going to happen? I, I thought we were going to stay pretty on the book. I knew we would have like a lot of role play in between sections. Um, but I didn't think we would necessarily uh, go off book, I guess. So to me, that's pretty exciting. Um, it's not often I get to be uh, a, a player normally. Uh, I'm the one behind the screen, so it's really fun uh, when a DM takes you where you're not expecting to be. Uh, even if it is one of the player characters that uh, does pull off the pull us off, like you know, Emma Lear going a little crazy there. Uh, oh, I think yeah. that's I love it when a DM is able to. Uh, take character actions and then you know make the story based off of that opposed to what they have planned or prepared because it's so much more engaging uh for the players if uh they're able to feel like their choices matter right right and so when you're dming that's an important thing to take into account i think for me personally it's way more fun when you include uh you know the choices of a character, like um, being having to go, uh, you know, to this whole thing about planar magic and going off to find Gundren's soul. I'm pretty sure Gundren was supposed to die. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, Gundren wasn't like supposed to die. It was the DM being like, Haha, "I'm gonna let them kill him." Yeah. It was it was narrative. So. Mm. Um Yeah, but it's really good. It's really awesome. Um see that. Uh, and there's some there's some I'm trying to catch up with the chat. <laughs> I know, I'm reading it too. Uh, yeah, this is uh someone I know that's in the chat. Or at <laughs> least I'm familiar with. Um okay. What color is Francisco's clothes? His shirt. Um, so his shirt is this part I could never really decide. Um oh man. I wanna say he wears more uh I think he has like a white shirt underneath it all uh what kind of white shirt like a cotton white shirt a brown yeah i'd probably shirt. say cotton yeah cotton's probably right um like this uh let's see yeah like that like that yep and then he kind of has a, a coat over it that's um, it's like a it's a darker coat. It's 
probably like a darker gray that kind of goes over it. Like this dark gray? Uh, let's see it on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that? Yeah, something like that. Okay. All the honey. My hat. <laughs> Tell me now, because once we hop off, once this is done, this is what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can can we see like a dark green on him? For the um. For the coat. I just realized yeah. I was coloring on the wrong. Okay, a dark green coat. Yeah, yeah dark green coat. I want to see what that looks like. Like this kind of dark green? Um, let's yes. see it. It's a little too dark. <laughs> um. Do you want more of a gray? Let's see. I yeah, I like the that one. That's a good one. That's what I like to see on him as a sexy green color. It kind of goes with his eyes. <laughs> a sexy green color that goes <laughs> yeah. with his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Does he have earrings or anything? No, nah, he's not really an earring type of guy. Um, he likes. I kind of feel like he would be. Well, like, so for him, uh, the, I thought about it because I thought he would too, but um, thinking about it, he's much more about a more clean look than anything. It's, he doesn't want things to be like gaudy or too much. It, it, for him, it's like a simple, which is why just a simple white shirt with a simple green coat. Uh, he's got chainmail underneath, but you can't really see it because he keeps it pretty covered. Kind of like Frodo with his mithril uh, chain, whatever he has. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of underneath it all. Um, which is why he's not so stealthy, all jingly and jingly. Uh, mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Now go back. Okay. I'm really glad that, you know, we've got people that really like our stream. <laughs> we got a uh, Hogmi84 uh, who says that uh, with this cast, uh, the show can't be a miss. It'll definitely be a home run touchdown slash goal. Aw, that's so that's nice. That's so dope. Uh, so yeah, uh, like what the chat was saying for anyone who was watching, uh, the uh, at the Lakeside Legends moderator, uh, if you follow Lore, uh, then you'll get like a kind of more news on what the what Lakeside Legends is doing. We've mm -hmm. got audio books in the plans. We got future campaigns. We got a bunch of different things in the works. So um, it's, you know, it would be a good idea if you uh, like the content that we're putting out to check out uh, Lore. She's got a lot of stuff that she's working on. Uh, so she's, always, she's always putting stuff out, so. Not always, but I am working every day. Yeah, so she goes hard. Oh, my ear hurts. Okay, let's see. Don't use that eraser. So now Francisco, how does he feel about the other people in his party, um, especially a, with recent events? Um, so he's very concerned about everybody. <laughs> like for him, like, his philosophy on life is to have fun, to enjoy life, because if you don't, you're going to have regrets. Uh, 
and that's kind of like that's kind of what his mom taught him like don't worry about you know the the future too much because if you do you're never going to live in the moment and so or don't worry too much about the past either and so when he sees Imra you know going through what she's going through like she shot one of her friends like he's like oh my gosh spoiler <laughs> Oh, sorry for anyone who uh, hasn't caught up with the with the show. Uh, uh, that whole thing was just kind of it was like, oh my gosh, how how do you move on from that? Like now he's he's starting to question his own things. Like man, that's a pretty intense experience. Uh, so he's questioning his own beliefs, his own philosophies, uh, and also on the flip side, me who's going through. Uh, you know what he's going through his own shift he's kind of got like a lot that he's thinking about and the only one that seems to be you know like stable stable is kinsley and so he's kind of holding on to that <laughs> so he really like respects and admires kinsley which is why part of the reason why he's started to become he's like interested in faith you know, which is why he did flirt with uh, <laughs> uh that that priest lady wasn't you know, just because she was a cute girl, but also I guess I'm interested in religion. See, but because uh, Kinsley is such a good example. Uh, so there's a lot of a lot of his current beliefs are being challenged. I don't know how much that shows in the show. Uh, he's not acting how he did at the beginning. He's kind of shifted a little bit. Uh, so it's a little bit of people people's different interactions around him that are causing him to change himself. Mm. Here so. we go, I fixed it. Yay! <laughs> a little bit. It still needs a lot of work, obviously, but it's because I made the top so high. Mm. Well, uh, I think Unless there's anything you want to chat about. Well, how, how Any guys, changes do you want to make? Any changes I want to make? Oh, gosh. Aside see. from the fact that we need to now make it beautiful. Yeah, aside from the fact that it needs to be now gorgeous. Uh, mm -hmm, let's see. Um, I'm trying to think. He would probably have one of his swords on his back. Or probably both. Yes, uh, he has two. So he has, yeah, he so he has his long sword and his great sword. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me pull up a great sword. Mm -hmm. And then. A good a good example of what I was thinking would look like is draw from The Witcher. <laughs> I have a lot of. Uh, okay, so you said two, a great sword and a wet sword. And a long sword. Those are the two swords he has, chilling. One so he can use his shield, and one to use two-handed, depending on the situation. Right. So he'd also probably have a shield on his back too. Okay, well you wouldn't really see that. Yeah, you wouldn't really see it. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it would be bigger. So what are you looking forward to in the uh, campaign? Mm, I don't know. That's more of a a question to ask when I do my own character, except I'll probably be by myself. No, I just mean like, in general, for the cast, story-wise, what are your hopes, dreams? Um, I am keeping an open mind. Open mind, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't want to like have expectations and then be like, oh, nope. I should be doing this actually on a different layer. I can adjust, adjust stuff. No, dang it! It's a good thing there's an undo button. Yay! 
I you. love undo buttons. <laughs> Didn't totally disappear. Okay, let's try this again. Actually, I'm going to pull up a picture of the litcher. I'm not this smart. I drew a lot of inspiration from Drill too. There's so many different sources of inspiration for <laughs> for Francisco. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. not much like The Witcher either, but have you actually even watched it? I haven't watched it, but uh, my friend has talked my ear off about the games. Right. So, um, he's personality-wise, no. Looks kind of like, I guess, his fighting style. I, in my head, when he fights, he would fight kind of like The Witcher. We're not to the point to where... Uh, uh, the um uh what's it called he's not we're not at the point yet where uh he would start having similar abilities don't know if we'll get to that point necessarily i don't know how long this campaign will be uh that we're doing currently mm -hmm. but i have there's some plans for him that uh will be revealed in the futures okay okay uh, so Replacement of the sword. Do you want them right next to each other like this on his back? Or like, um, you, it would, you would see it more like this. Or mm -hmm. do you want to have them crisscrossed? I see them more like how he has it right next to each other. Okay, I'm going to uh, use this as a reference then real fast. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Because I would only really uh, have him crisscrossed if he was dual wielding, but he's not dual. He uses them when I can. Do you have any like style that the um, that handle the hilt part would, would be? be? Yeah. Um, I think for his great sword, it would probably look like uh, Aragorn's uh, sword. Aragorn or Aragorn? Aragorn. Oh my gosh, not Aragorn. Actually, wait. Let me look at Aragorn's sword because that might be cool too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess them up. Don't switch them. I know you're you're a big nerd. Um, when it comes to Lord of the Rings, don't mess with me. No, nah, I think it'd be Aragorn because Aragorn sort of has like a jewel in the hill and the blade is colored. It's definitely more Aragorn like. Oh, Anduro? Yeah. Uh, okay, well, we can't like totally not, copy not it. Not totally copy it. But it's like a similar style where it's not wrapped. Well, let's see. What does that Aragorn sword? Right. Um, Aragorn. It's, it's, I have it up right here. You do have it up right there? Yeah, that's his sword. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually imagine the, uh, the leather to go all the way down. All the way down the hill? Yeah, down to the um, kind of rounded part at the top. And um, and the um, I guess the guard would be flared uh, down a little bit to kind of cover his hands. So if someone were to try to take a swing at his hand, it would kind so of so more like a pirate's um... that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what does the top look like? The top, like the blade itself? Of no, of the handle. Oh, top of the handle. Is it um, pointed? Is it squared? Circle? It's it's more circular. It's uh, it's rounded. It's very similar to how I imagined the top of this to be, um, except the it would be solid. It would have a hole in it. Okay, I'm switching screens so you can see what I've kind of sketched here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See it? Yep. Okay, how is this? This looks good, except I, uh, I meant mm -hmm. it to curve in the other direction. Oh. Yeah. So more so of a smile. Yeah. So it looks more like it's... Uh, yeah, more like a smile. Longer, 
wider. Uh, about that width, okay. like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so something like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. What about the other sword? The uh, long sword would be um, the guard would come all the way down, kind of. It would curve out and come down. Do that uh, again. It would curve out from the guard, top of the guard, and go all the way down to like the pummel of the sword. Mm -hmm. So kind of like a, almost like a protector there. Uh, like something like that? Yeah, kind of like that. A little bit more, uh, I don't know, fancy. Uh, Are you thinking like a Three Musketeers thing? Uh, no, kind of, yeah. It would kind of look like that. Um, Hold on. Let's pull it up. But not as thin because it is a long sword. I don't know, it's about musketeers. Oh, yes, I do. Cool. I don't want the candy though. Like, I found. Um, I think it would be a Calvary sword. Yeah, like a, like a Calvary sword. I'll look that up. Kind of hilt similar to that, but a thicker blade. A thicker blade? Yeah, than what the cavalry sword typically would be. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Let me switch. I know, I'm getting real specific with the sword. <laughs> yeah. I'm that sorry. The part you care about the most. I do care about it. <laughs> Your swords are, I was a kid, right. you know. I don't know. Do you see my screen? Yeah, I see your screen. Okay, so the uh, where it says your place to buy and sell all things handmade, a hilt kind of like that, or the one next to it. something like this. Yeah. Or something like this. Yes. Exactamente. Okay. So you want to be fancy? Yeah, she's a fancy lad. Okay. So something like that? Um, I can't see it yet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Ow, Switch he's back. Ow! Switch back. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, kind of like that. Exactly like that. It's perfect. Okay. So, the fancy parts are your swords. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you can think of? Um, no, that's it. That is pretty much uh, Francisco in a nutshell. Beautiful, elegant blade work. Um, <laughs> you know. Kill her with the ladies. Kill her with the ladies. So then I should actually be doing it where he's got like. <laughs> Doesn't have them quite that long. No, and then you. Hold on, hold on. Let me do this on a different layer. Oh my gosh. Why are you doing this to mess with me? I am indeed. No, don't do that. So what you're saying, let me find the right one, this is the one, is that you want... Oh boy. Anime eyes, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> this ain't Final Fantasy. <laughs> Um, Final Fantasy in like no, this. No, this is, yeah, no, no, this is a magical girl. This is oh, no. Oh, old no. school shou shoujo. Oh my gosh. Ooh, like uh, what's that one? Um, that you uh, the um, wallflower. Oh my gosh, wallflower. That was so Dude, good. Do some wallflower eyes on it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There's Francisco. Oh, wait. <laughs> Except he looks squinty in one eye. I, I 
right now. I'm going to fix it right now. <laughs> oh, go. Um, uh, but yeah, definitely not. Um. That the other eyes were more accurate to what he actually looks like, but uh, if he was an anime character, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an anime character in the old school romance ones. Yeah. Like, super old school. Okay. Yeah. So a little more on the realistic side. Yeah, yeah, a little more Got realistic. it, got it. Yeah. I mean, if he really wanted to, I guess he could make his eyes look like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> that would probably freak out people. <laughs> I need to do a little more work on it. Hold on. I just need a little more eyelashes. Okay, he is done! Yay, so pretty. Kawaii desu. <laughs> oh, but, but now for the piece of resistance. Oh no. Is he gonna have like a. Ah, uh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, the bow. Yeah. You know, he definitely has his Shakira form. He probably has like a super <laughs> cute girl form too with a bow, potentially. Did we just create. Did I just create it? No, no, no. Francesca looks different. But, uh. It, he's definitely. Not, but, um, he might have like a. Uh, more of a cutesy girl form that's not come up. He's done much more the sexy thing, but uh, you know, sexy thing. Yeah, okay. he's so he he's never done. I don't know. I don't think we've come across a, a character that that's more like uh, into lollies, I guess. So. <laughs> Are you just making drag queen Francisco now? <laughs> no, this this is sexy Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. I just thought of something really funny. Uh, gosh, what is his name? I don't know his name. We're just screwing around now. We're pretty yeah, much now done. We are. Uh, gosh, there's a, there's a guy in Final Fantasy VII uh, when Cloud is getting his make, this isn't the remake, but uh, when Cloud is getting his makeover to like uh, cross dress as a girl to infiltrate a person's place, and the guy is so fabulous. Oh my gosh, he is so fabulous. If, you, if you've never played Final Fantasy, just watch the uh, Final Fantasy dance fight scene. So good, <laughs> it's so fabulous. Oh man, it's pretty awesome. There, now he has his <laughs> seductress side. I would like to, like, some point, do uh, his, at some point, not now, but his typical female uh, form. Yeah, I'll even give him his sexy hair. <laughs> Because in my head, he definitely looked like, definitely chooses to look like Shakira. Because <laughs> she's, you know, a real life uh, person in our game. Yeah, no. Well, in my um, in my uh, casual campaign with my friends, uh, he worships a god goddess named Shakira. And <laughs> what is it with you and Shakira? It's actually not me. It's my friend. He has. A Really, the Shakira is fan service for him, because <laughs> he loves Shakira so much. Uh, Shakira, Shakira. Yeah, so um, that's uh, his character worships this goddess, and she's like she's she's a goddess of the bards. So, and he plays a bard, so he thought it was perfect. Mm. Okay, well, we have fabulous Francisco, regular Francisco, and my favorite. Kawaii. <laughs> Kawaii Desu Francisco. This is probably the one I'm going to color. <laughs> oh my God. The one you spend the most time on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. But on all seriousness, here are all three together. 
I don't I don't label my um my layers. So I don't actually know which one's I love, the I love this comment. Uh I feel me has the happy tree friends humor. I do have to agree with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, here is Francisco. Does Francisco have fabulous eyelashes? So I do need to know. Um they're not that fabulous. But they're they're is they're he very the, is he the is he the um oh the word escapes me Bishonen? The Bishonen type? Or is he just a regular shonen? It's a regular shonen. Regular uh, shonen. Okay, take all the fun out of it. Well, he's like, you know, he's like a strong boy, you know, but, um, what's a good comparison for him? No, I can't think of a good one off the top of my head. I'm not watching anything that he's like anybody that I can think of off the top of my head. I would have to think about it, ponder, maybe pray about it. I don't know. But yeah, you can maybe give him like a little, little fab on his eyelashes if you want to. It's like, it would be slight though. It wouldn't be uh, dramatic. Right. Because he is, he's, he's like subtle beauty. Like it's the small details that make you hot because the otherwise. The dark eyelashes that are just kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of like. They're, they're fantastic eyelashes. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to now finish this. Nice. So here is our base, our sketch. And then our colors. Woo! -woo. You're happy with the swords? Yep, I'm happy with the swords. What are their colors real fast? Um, so the leather on the great sword is black. Um, black, the black? Black, black, yes. Okay, well, I'm gonna do uh, a slightly lighter look so it's easier to color, but okay. Yep, yep. Um, the hilt and the pummel are a, um, they're a light steel color. It's kind of like still in the blue realm, but lighter than what his pauldron is. They're a bit more shiny. Lighter. Uh, yeah, he takes more care of his swords than he does his armor. <clears throat> yeah, like that. Um, the hilt on the other one, the hilt and guard. Uh, the okay, sorry. Rewind. The uh, hilt, the work for he grabs is uh, covered in brown leather. And the guard is one uh, at a time, sir. Sorry. What kind of brown? Grayish brown, reddish brown. Like, uh, grayish brown. Light, dark. Lighter. Like this? Um. Yes. That okay. looks good. What about Maybe. the wispy parts? Yeah. So the guard is gold. Gold. It's not actually gold, but it's like brass. Fake gold. Brass? Like, not brass, actually. No, brass is brass. Uh, <laughs> that depends like on a, your a gold too. color. Gold color. Yeah, I like that. That's perfect. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And the sheaths, the uh, great sword is just a black sheath. Uh, and uh, the uh, other one is that same brown colors. It, it matches, it's the same leather as the hilt. All right, so it looks like this. Yep. Okay, then we are going to take this Francisco, put it in the Francisco folder. Aw, yeah, the hot folder. <laughs> And we're gonna take this and turn it into this. Eyelashes like Anto Antonio Banderas. Might look up Antonio Banderas. 
he's Zoro. Oh, Boots. right. Uh, the oh, Tank yeah, Lee. there he is. There he is. I'm disappointed that you needed to look I don't up. know. I don't know actors' I names. I grew up watching this man. <laughs> but, like, here's the thing. Uh, I don't remember any actors' names ever. Ever. <laughs> oh. I hear modern actors. I'm like, I usually know them by their most famous character. It's a, a, like it's a miracle I know Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> well, Robert Downey Jr. plays Iron Man, so. Okay, well that's it, we're done. We're gonna take a Francisco and make him a spit. Yeah. Woo! All right, well I think we are going to wrap this up then, listen to my ankles pop um <laughs> sorry about the technical difficulties in the beginning thanks for sticking around those of you who stuck around we are all done so thanks for uh, stopping by we uh of course play friday nights every uh friday night 6 p.m right yes, 6, 6 p.m pacific standard time is when we do our D, &D stream where you can see francisco and spit in action. And then on Sunday nights, we're going to continue doing this Arcana Inc. and do, uh, I don't know who's coming next week. <laughs> so it'll either be uh, me or, or Kinsley. We'll probably save Imra for when I am better at doing this by myself. So, <laughs> what? Do like the best work for yourself? <gasps> no, no, no. <laughs> I mean like the technical side of this. Uh, so I don't have no. to worry about yeah. A hubbubaloo yeah. like today I think was. you and I are the least knowledgeable on streaming stuff. I, I can do audio I... things, but streaming, I have no idea. Well, I got the stream to work. Yeah. <laughs> just everything That's else. more than what I can do, so. Uh, okay, well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out, and we'll see you next time.